Nine years in comedy, doing the open mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lucky. Yeah, roasted. <laughs> what would you want? Comedians <laughs> open cards! Welcome! It's Tuesday night, winter circle. It's comedians opening cards, no coffee. And who do I have? Stand up comedian. Jack Burke. Jack Burke. How, did you just do your set? No, no. Not yet. Okay, well, we got a whole bunch of cards. I don't know if you see any that you know. You uh, pick a pack, open it, talk about it for as long or as short as you want, sign one card for me, then you can keep the others if you so desire. That's hilarious. How long have you been doing comedy? Nine years. Wow! Yeah. And how do you like the scene in uh, wherever we are? We're in Salisbury, the scene is great. Yeah, are you, do you do it? circle's great. Yeah, you do this one a lot? I come here pretty much any Tuesday that I can. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> when did you start doing this? This show? Um, October of last year. What inspired you? I wanted to hang out with more comedians because I would see a lot of comedians in New York City and I needed a gimmick in order to talk with them. Oh. And it works like a charm and now I get to do it with all these open micers and all kinds of other features and whatever. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. So... What do you see? A lot. X-Files right. is, you know, speaking mm -hmm. out to me. Mm -hmm. things. Do you what believe? Do you? I do. Okay. <laughs> Muller and... Uh, think, what's the one that it's most that I might know something about? Growing pains is going to be difficult. Yeah, yeah like the Civil War card set. Ooh, interesting. I think three people have opened a Civil War pack. Is that a popular one? It's, I mean, Growing Pains, um, Nor Mark Norman opened that, Ari Shafir opened that. <laughs> um, uh, Harry and the Hendersons has only been open once or twice. <laughs> Bill and Ted's only one time, that three times. It's this scary. is a bunch. Robin Hood's super popular. <laughs> you know, cool. I don't think Bob Marley's ever been opened. Oh, I didn't see that one. Actually, someone opened it and then he didn't want me to put a show up, so I didn't. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know. It got awkward. It was hammered. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I haven't been drinking, so we Yeah, go exactly. All right, so I'll go with the Civil War card set. Awesome. And why did you pick them? You like the Civil War? I like the Civil War. It's interesting. Well, all right. You know, we didn't get it right, but you know, there's still. Oh, so you believe okay. in the South. Well, yeah. you might. The South will rise again. I love the North. I live up here. We, we did good. It's <laughs> yeah. one of those wars. You're there. a Southie. Yeah. It was an actual victor that made sense, so that's a good thing, right? Mm. It's like a clear-cut war. I wish we had a few of those nowadays. Mm, we will, again. <laughs> yeah. Have faith. <laughs> All right, so then, oh, damn, artillery organization. Ooh, nice photo. <laughs> yeah. Siege of Petersburg. Let's go. I oh. thought that was in uh, Russia. <laughs> oh, that's the saint. Mm -hmm. This is a classic. Number one. That's oh my god, Lincoln rookie card! Wow, let's go! <laughs> oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Nice, we got Gizmo. Oh, right off the bat. Let's go. Gizmo rookie card, let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Does he have the beard? It's like no, a no like... top hat that's his sexy oh, years. Wow. So that's before the that's bullet. That's nice. The head, I think. I've seen the slave card twice, but I've never seen the Lincoln. Wow, the slave card, that's a pretty brutal one. It is a good a one. Grand review. Hmm. I? I don't know. How lucky are you? I feel lucky. Nine years in comedy, doing the open mic? <laughs> yeah, yeah, lucky. Yeah, roasted. <laughs> what would you want? Yeah. <laughs> Grateful for the opportunity to it's perform fun. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uncle <laughs> Jack. Mini Bullet. Oh, wow. Interesting. You know, in um, this is not bullet related, but it's super cool. Down in um, Baltimore, they have a tower where they used to drop and make cannonballs. It's a tower inside. You would drop the molten whatever or whatever it was, and then as it would fall, it would form the ball form, and then it would fall into a thing of water and then freeze into that oh, thing. Yeah, it's like one of the only that. standing ones. God only knows. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then I got Prison Escapes. Which Ooh, is pretty nice. sweet. I've Everyone loves escaping, escaping prison. prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to get caught first. And then and the no one dreams of that part. Blockade running. Also a great card. Oh, I think nice. that's what sealed the deal for us in the end was the blockade, right? I think so. Look yeah. at the weird double flag weird simple thing. I've never yeah. seen that before. America versus the Confederacy. Yeah, all in one. Wow. I'm glad we won. Right, so cool. just uh, sign one for me and then you can keep the others if you so desire. Yeah, I think I'll sign the Abe. Let you keep the Abe. Oh, that's so cool of you. <laughs> Where's the, uh, what do you, what, so you like this mic. Any other mics that you really recommend? Um... No, not really. No. I mean, the tavern at the end of the world in Boston is pretty good. Mm. Uh, wait. 
You wouldn't yeah. think that Boston was it would be at the end of the world. That's yeah, it's at the borderline of Cambridge and, and Boston proper, so it that's what they say. Uh, at the end of the world is the end of Cambridge. Well, I realize that's what it was. Yeah, that's why it's named it. Like right before the so that's a pretty good mic. You can meet some people there. Awesome. And like a good show would be like like consistently Sunday night at Kings in Boston is a fun one. Kings. Summer I've never Shack done that. on Saturdays. I help with that one. That's pretty good. Or any don't Summer talk. Shack on Saturday? Yeah. Where's the Saturday mic? Well, it's a show. It's a show. Yeah, I can't I'm just recommending go. shows. You can yeah, come. Yeah. I mean, you're doing something comedy adjacent. You could just. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do stand up. Oh, you're gonna do mic? Of course. You could come to any show. Yeah, just yeah. tell me you're coming. Awesome. I'll be there, so come by. Saturday. Yeah, for most Saturdays I'm there. Yeah. Awesome. And what was your name again? I'm Jack. Jack, thank you so much. Do you want the other? Did you sign one? I put them all in. You don't want any. I'm good. You I'm, are staying away from the Civil War I, cards. You don't want. Yeah. You don't want a souvenir of Civil War. I try to avoid clutter. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. All right. Go see live comedy because that's where it's happening. <laughs> you idiots, open cards. Good. Thanks, Thanks Dave. So Last time I was up in Maine, uh, also the Beastie Boys brought me up. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, the lucky numbers tonight are 13, 26, 20. Oh, they. Never mind. I don't know how February got picked to be the Black Month, nor how June became the Gay Month. But I do understand why next month is pro-Hamas. Can't you hear the chants? July, July, July. That's my Seder shirt, just in case he knows. I think the chicken crossed the road because you were choking it too much. That might be a hack joke, but uh, I think it is the best suicide joke ever made. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Yeah, it's a great suicide joke. Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, Everything is better with me, thanks for asking. Ladies, gentlemen, Three's Company. My five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean meta Busel. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. I have met and shook hands with both Biden and Trump. I'm not impressed. That's the whole joke. Because they're not impressive. Uh, as a dude, I feel it's my responsibility to bleed more often than my lady. So, once a week, I uh, like to go camping and frolic around in the pricklers. Or some kind of prick gets me to bleed. It's an anal sex joke. I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. If you're into tennis, I'm not into you romantically. Why won't you just value love? Slow build on that one. Take your time to figure out what that means. You get it? The score of zero is love, and so you're not valuing love in tennis. I know, we've been drinking, so it's hard, but... People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash receptacle. Then, I remind them you the ass. 
What are you pitching at me for? Your breath smells like boo. Uh, this is just a premise. I think collecting sneakers is gay. <laughs> Now, I'm a hoarder. I'm not sure if any of you are. It's time for hoarders to come out of the closet. I need the space. I'll slowly get you all, just a little bit at a time. The coolest thing about the gun is if you add another hump, it becomes the gum. Chew on that one for a little while. I don't know if I've been abandoned by Odysseus or Percy Jackson, but I can't seem to escape the Lotus Eaters. Okay, this one, I don't know if this room. I think E.E. E. Cummings could have been more successful as a poet. Oh, I messed that up. I think E.E. E. Cummings could have been more successful if only he would have capitalized on his poetry. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bacon, everybody. Yeah. Next to the mic.